Welcome back to the swamp, my friends. It's good to see you made it back for another episode. Today I'm going to be sharing some creepy and allegedly true night shift horror stories sent in by viewers just like you. As always, if you have a story that you would like to share in a future video, be sure to submit it at swampdweller.net or the email you can find in the description down below. Now, without further ado, let's get in to these creepy and allegedly true night shift horror stories that'll creep you out tonight. Hi, I'm a long time listener to The Swamp. My name is David and I do security at a mall in Eastern Idaho. Now I've been told it is haunted and I will say I've experienced my fair share of paranormal things in my life. I have had several just at this mall and I wanted to share one for now and maybe more in the future. A little background on me. I have done overnight security for over 13 years and have seen some of the worst in people. I have also done martial arts for about 29 years, so I'm not scared of much and I have a deep set of faith. I am a Christian and have the gift of discernment and empathy. I can also feel and see the spirits around me. Enough about me now. I was on patrol outside of my mall one night. I work grave shift like I said. I saw I needed to refill my water bottle and stay hydrated. As I pulled up to the mall doors near our security office, I noticed the shape of a figure inside, about as tall as a young teenager would be. I hurried inside, thinking, great, someone got in or hid and I did not see them. After entering, I listened and quickly dropped off my water bottle in my office and relocked the door. I went into the mall silent, listening to the dark and waiting to see or hear anything to indicate the presence of a person. I searched the mall. I occasionally would hear footsteps here and there, and sometimes some laughter. I looked and in no place were anyone hiding. No teens, no doors opening, and no alarms going off. After clearing the mall and getting more water, I went back to my security vehicle. I did not see anything until I sat in the driver's seat and looked out my rearview mirror. I saw what looked like a group of teens in all black, black eyes, and one smiled with a creepy look. I'm going to honestly assume was a smile. I whipped the car around to shine the light on the intruders, not more than 15 feet away, and they just were suddenly gone. There was no way they could run or hide that fast. I looked nearby and saw nothing. Morning came and no more sightings, but at night I could still hear the laughter at times while I'm checking the exterior doors. <laughs> 